This is day two of the World Series of Poker. This is our second event. No good yesterday in the turbo. Uh, today I'm feeling refreshed, ready, and we're gonna rock the shootout. We'll let you know, get you some updates. Over there from the Rio, we're on our way. All right, so 326 entrants so far. This is a 3K shootout. Win your table or go home, and here's a little look at our table right here. Kevin O'Donnell, C1. All right, start with 15,000 at the break. We have about 20,000. Blinds are 100, 200. KOD right here. All right, prize pool announced. Looks like it is 226,000 at first, and for the min cash, 6,000. Um, decent start. Just one all in with 10 to the threes. We open to 725. Player jam for about 7,000. I open the cutoff, six handed, and jam the button. Uh, we popped the 10, it was King and Jack flop. So he was drawing dead to a chop, and uh, we helped him. So yeah, decent start, five left. We got about 20,000 blinds, there are 150, 300, so almost 70 big blinds. Good start. All right, got about, what's up, brother? What's up? Got about 30K, blinds are gonna be 255 when we come back. We have four left. I uh, won the tens to threes. I opened the mentioned that hand tens. Guy shoved you threes. One. Um, trying to think of any other hands we've really. He's had. crushing it. He's a chip leader. Trying, trying to. We got four way. Everyone's got some chips. Looks like. Uh, it might be. Yeah. I think it's, a, it's basically tied up. I think we're like three way around thirty, and one Kevin's got like twenty. Down to three-handed. Just made a bluff. Last hand going to break. Lines are going to be four eight. We have like twenty-two thousand. Really disappointed. Um, guy made a good call. I had two four. He limped. I bet I raised pre out of the big blind with two four off. Came six five ten. Two diamonds. Um, actually, I'm sorry. Six five ten rainbow. He checked that bet. Fairly big. He called the turn. Paired the six. Um, didn't think this was a great card to barrel off. I just like, you know, I'm in. Am I trying to get him off a 10 here? I'm just gonna like barrel and hope like a big card comes on the river to, sh to really put a big bet in. Uh, he called. I'm sorry, he checked. I checked. So the river came and it was a king. Now it just pretty much looks like he has a king. I went for a big bet and uh, he tanked for a while and called the jack 10. It's kind of, I thought he had a 10. It's just a matter of what am I repping? Like, I would have king, queen, king, jack. Uh, ace, king, probably a check back though. So I'm not repping a ton other than like king, queen. Probably check back, ace, king on that flop. Um, he's a good player and uh, he made a good call. So we're gonna have like 25, 27, 28 blinds when we come back. And uh, yeah, we're three-handed. It's gonna be a tough match, but that one hurt a little bit. Ah, uh, man, stick to the fundamentals and these tight is right, but I uh, got picked off there, and uh, we are we're gonna have a little uphill battle now, so again, three-handed, this is what's left. And this guy's now got a good lead, that was the hand that we bluffed into. And we're a little behind now. We have like 20k, he's probably got like twice us. Here's a look at the payouts. So you win your table, you get basically at least a min cash. And if you win it, 226K.
guys, uh, we lost heads up. I am pretty steamed right now. Like, I actually gotta breathe. I'm, I feel like, you know, the Aria 25K, bubbling when King stays queen hurt, but this one, like, heads up in the 3K shootout versus a guy, you know, he played pretty solid, but you know, he's not like a GTO guy. I really liked my chances. I had a 50 to 65K deficit to start, came back, um, had him in some trouble, and whew, he had two four off. I had ace king, and I don't want to even go over, I just, I don't really want to replay the hand. It just really hurt. Like, I'll just say this, the board was king seven nine, rainbow. I had ace king, he had two four, and uh, the turn was a four. The river was a deuce, I let out and he raised pretty big, but there was, uh, yeah, no betting on the turn, and uh, I mean, called me a 2-4, and then we got it all in. A6 off, I limped the button, at about 20K, 19K, blinds were 6-12. Um, he checked back and the flop, he had king 8, and the flop was king 5-2, spade, spade, spade. He checked, I bet, like the min, he shoved, I snapped, and he had king eight and held no club. He had king eight, no spade. So I had an ace, I had a spade. The turn was a three, even more wheel outs and bricked it all. And salty, 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 rough, rocky start here. And we're hopping in this 1500 Omaha eight or better tournament right now. Non stop, non stop with the vlogging. Come on, Sarah, help me out. All right, I'm convinced we're being tested. It's being tested right now. <coughs> we uh, we're tangling it up. We were down to like 3k from 7500. We got like about 8k now, so we're sitting all right. Blinds are 15300. It's a limit, so it is limit PLO8. You cannot go all in. You can't pot. You can only bet in the fixed increments. So you know it's a fun game. Our table seems uh, pretty good, and I mean as in good for us. And we'll see what happens. That's it, GG, event number four, 1500 Omaha High Low. The Rio, through three events we've played, we are eliminated. <laughs> Guess what, it's June 1st tomorrow. We got commentary for the 1500 on Saturday. And we are stronger because of some of the adversity we've gone through in a couple events. I'm excited. I'm motivated. June, we're gonna we're gonna lock the doors and we're gonna crush this June, guys. Starting tomorrow, uh, I can't play the 100K, even though we did cash the last time we played it. We are gonna be doing the commentary for the opening Twitch event on Saturday, and there's a 365, I think, like WSOP event tomorrow at uh, 7 p.m. So I'll probably hop in that, try to bag up a big stack, and uh, go from there. So see you later. Uh, I think it's called the Giant, where you bag chips and then come back around uh, June 30th, I believe is day two, but it's 20 minute levels, you play 21 levels, so it's like seven hours of play, starts at 7 p.m., so hopefully bag up or when it's down to 10 players, and we'll definitely fire hard, try to get a big stack, and show you guys some hands on this. So we're gonna get it rolling, get it rocking, plenty of action left this summer, and um, yeah, we've had a little bit of heartbreak so far with the bubble in the 25K and the uh, heads up shootout losing, but you know, this is our fourth event in the World Series of Poker, and uh, you know, get out of the way. It's June 1st, new month, June. We're about to crush it. It's going to be the month of flow in June. I'm calling it right now. We'll see you guys over at the Rio. All right, guys. So in 365, we're still fighting a cold. Up to about 30K from 25. Definitely like our table. Let's see how it goes. Starting with 25K, we have 25,500. Got a 58,500 from starting stack of 25k. A couple nice hands. I uh, just had a straight on the river, the absolute nuts. Got paid by a set. Uh, nice run, good for a change. And a good start. And we're after the first break. Lines are now 500,000. We had 58k. So I really like our table. Really like what's going on. And feel like we're gonna bag a nice big stack today. So I'll we'll, uh, keep you guys updated. Also, players have been raised to the next level. If any players are not happy with their stack 
one of four pitcher chips. Get back up the red straight and buy back in. At the last game of this level, okay, you have the option to forfeit the chips, start with a fresh deck, and let's make it Oh, baby girl. Queen ball, corner pocket. Ships it all. We're going to film this one. Wow. Ship it all to Jeff Gross. Ship to Sherbert. To Herbert. We'll be Herbert today. Wow. I'll be Herbert. The Sherbert's coming to Herbert. All right, so we're on, we're on break. We had about 95, we actually had over 100,000. We lost ace jack to kings to jack eight on a jack eight four flop. Uh, guy raised, cut off, we flatted button, ace jack off. I almost three bet pre, but I just wanted to play post flop against this guy. And on the flop, the guy shoved, there was two hearts. And this guy flatted with like 30, like 27K behind. Uh, the guy was on for 18K, the big blind. Pretty bad spot. I'm definitely worried about ace, about kings, queens, but at the same time, he could have like a flush draw. He could have raised king, jack, jack, queen. I just think our hand's too good to fold. I went with it. The guy had kings, and um, yeah, really, that stung us. This hand blew my mind. I raised uh, two sixes, button flats. The guy who we doubled up with ace, king to eights on an eight, nine, nine. We bombed in the turn into his full house, drawing dead. Uh, same guy flatted us with ace, seven of diamonds. And the <coughs> Excuse me, big blind call as well. Flop was king, queen, 10, rainbow. I didn't really want to try to attack this board. Uh, I, it goes check, big blind, I check, button checks. Turn, king pairs the board, but big blind checks. I decided to take a stab here. Like I would have checked back ace jack, I would have checked back ace king, I would have checked back two pair on this board most likely. So when he, I thought maybe I could take a shot and get him off some lower pairs, some other stuff, uh, I bet small into the pot, but like 3,900 into um, the blinds were uh, 1K, 2K, I made it 5K. So yeah, there's like 17K in the middle. I bet really small. He called and the river was a jack. So now an ace is a straight, but like, I don't know how many ace X's he has there that he's going to be flatting the button and then call, not betting the flop and just calling on the turn. I decided to take a stab. I bet 9,500 on the river. He kind of he's in the halls and calls. He had ace seven of diamonds. So he had no draw other than the gut shot on a paired board. I don't know. I mean, I guess I gave him the right price, but like, it's pretty, pretty wide call. And he got rewarded and even got a, me to bluff the river. So we're short now. Blinds are going up to 3K. We got about 19K. So we have to get lucky. See how many are left. I'm not sure, but uh, we're going to have to double up. And uh, we're taking a walk. So basically, yeah, we end up just getting table broke. We shoved nines, no one called. Lines went up, lines went up. Uh, couldn't get a spot. We finally got it in for like three bigs with ace three off. And uh, the big blind, the guy in the big blind, the older gentleman, tanked and tanked, called with ace six off. And the flop was uh, eight, nine, four, turn do so. Kind of bad card because now we're not going to chop a lot, but we could win with a five additionally. Um, and uh, the river was a brick. I think uh, it was a seven, but he won with the six, a six high. But um, we were really close to money. I mean, again, obviously, not the goal in this ter kind of term is not to bag a, um, you know, a short stack. You want to try to get get in there. It'd been nice to get on the board, knock down a, uh, knock down a cash. But um, you know, if you you can even cash and then get knocked out and play it again. So it's a giant. My dad played last year. He bagged made day two. I think I made. I don't know if I made day two, but I cashed it. I don't think I did make day two. Anyway, that's uh, the warm up tomorrow. We got Twitch commentary in the booth at 2.30 in the afternoon. And then we'll be playing the Colossus the next day and the, the uh, WSOP uh, tournament. So we're gonna have some bunch of action coming up here. But for now, we're uh, on our way home. Gonna get a good sleep and uh, come up just short of the money. Um, so 0 for four. And uh, we'll, we'll just keep our, keep our head up and uh, see you guys later. Right.